Okay, so for this last one, we're gonna show how to do compound interest when you keep adding money to the account as you're going along. So we're gonna use the same numbers that we just did before in the other video, um, where we're having a $250 uh, initial contribution, 5% interest on it. We're gonna do it for three years again, but this time now we're gonna add $250 every year. And then we're gonna see how that grows and we're gonna start seeing a lot bigger numbers, okay? So in our first year, we don't, I've added a little chart on here to kind of break it down so that you can see how everything's, um, everything's changing through, uh, through each year. So in the, first, in the very beginning, we don't have any carryover, right? So carryover is basically what earned in the year before and it's gonna carry over to the next year. Kind of how we did another video where we just showed what it went to in the next year and we started with that amount when we were talking about compound interest. Okay, so that's really, it's called carryover. So in the first amount, we're gonna have, we're gonna have zero dollars. Sorry, my pen's starting to die a little bit here. We're gonna have zero dollars in the beginning. We're gonna have an annual contribution. Okay, so the beginning one, we're just gonna say in year one, it was $250. Okay, so our subtotal in the first year is just what our initial investment is of $250. Okay, we're gonna earn interest off of it, just like we showed in the other one. So when we times that, remember we're doing that by 0 0.05. So when we times that out, we would still get $12.50. Okay, for a total at the end of the year of $262.50. So it starts out the same way. Now, this is gonna be, at the end of year one, this is what gets to be our carryover for year two, okay? So we're gonna put that amount, and that's our starting amount for our carryover, just like before, really, okay? But now we're gonna add another 250. So we're gonna add some more money into this bank account, and at the end, now we're gonna have, these two amounts are gonna to add together. So before we get interest applied to it, we're gonna have $512.50 that's sitting in our bank account before the interest gets applied for the year, okay? So now, when we go to do this, if we, take, if we times this by 0 0.05, we should have, end up having $25.63 sitting in our account, uh, for, or adding on to our, for our interest. Okay, which at the end of the year will give us $538.13. Okay, so now that's what we'll be sitting in there when we add these two numbers together to get 538.13. So same thing, we're gonna carry that number over to the top for the start of the next year, so 538.13, okay? We're gonna add our contribution of $250, again, like we did in the year before. And when we add those two numbers together, we are going to have 788.13 sitting in the bank account before we, uh, before we apply our interest to it, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do times 0 0.05 for the 5% interest. And for that year, we're going to get $39.41 as our interest earned for that year, it was from what's sitting in the bank account. So when we go and add those two numbers together, we should get $827.41 sitting in our bank account at the end of three years. Okay, so you can see the big advantage of doing compound interest is when you keep adding money into it. Yeah, I know you keep adding more and that's what makes it look like it's a really big number, right? But you invested $750 as a total investment, but because you got to compound all the interest along the way, you just ended up, you ended up making $77.41 for three years. And all you had to do is keep adding a little bit of money. Again, about 20 some bucks a month to add in there to get to that. And that's not a huge amount of savings. And see over three years, you get all, you have over $800 in, inter, in, in your bank account, okay? So it does add up. 5% is a little bit generous. Sometimes interest rates can vary. Sometimes they're lower. And they right now they're only, you know, two or 3% if you're lucky, right? So they're not awesome. But if you imagine if it gets up to 5%, that starts to be a little bit nicer for an investment.
okay? So the last thing that we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you quickly in one more video of uh, for our project that we're doing of how you are going to figure out um, your, your annual contributions based off of the income that you've calculated in the assignment, okay? And we're going to try seeing what it will look like to take our annual net income, right? So what actually goes into our bank account every month and then we're going to try adding that on um, every year to see what happens when, uh, for what we could put away for savings, okay? But that will be in the next video.